Hi, I'm Joe Elmore, CEO for Charleston Animal Society. One of our partners in helping keep Charleston County a no-kill community is Feline Freedom Coalition. It's a wonderful organization that saves hundreds of little critters just like this. The Feline Freedom Coalition was hit hard by the flooding. Fortunately, Charleston Animal Society stayed dry. We've been helping numerous animal organizations and hundreds of animals throughout the low country rebound from this incredible flooding. Please join me in helping Feline Freedom in this special campaign. I'm depending on you, the Charleston Animal Society family, to give what you can to Feline Freedom and continue saving lives such as this. All of these yards flooded out, so we've, had to, we've been working all week to get the water out and put lime down and scrub the pads and try to keep the cats clean. In this little RV, uh, and it got damaged during the storm and it's gotten wet, we need to get a cover to put over it so we can continue to use it. It doesn't look that great, but it's functional, it's got heat and AC. We put beds in there and toys, and that's what we use for quarantine. We had, this was a minor leak around this air conditioner, but it became a major leak during the flood. So now we have all of this damage on this floor. There's water here, there's water underneath here, there's water underneath here. It needs to be repaired. This is all soaked and under here. See how these tiles are lifting now? The food that we were supposed to pick up at the food bank that we go to was sent to Colombia. So we have no food. We were counting on that food to have another six months of food and it's all gone to help the shelters in Colombia, which is great, but it's left us with no food. So I'm worried about that now. Because of the flood, we have excessive rutting and puddles and people's cars are getting stuck just because of all the water that came in. And there's been a lot of damage through here with the big heavy trucks coming and, and we need somebody to come with a tractor and level it out and put down ROC so that we can drive on this without getting stuck. We uh, took in 400 animals last year and adopted 350 and most of those were feral kittens from the woods, from the streets. This is Boy Boy. He's one of our oldest residents. He came from the Isle of Palms Marina. This is the, from the first colony. And so that's what really, that's when I made up my mind. There has got to be a scrap of earth where a feral cat can go when somebody's threatening to kill him. And that's what this place is about. It's a little piece of ground where you can put a cat so he doesn't have to die.